Let's have a look. Eh, not too bad. Hey guys, this is uh, TGAZ in Verbal Studio. I thought I'd show you what I've been working on. You know, I've been working on a little bit of uh, water effect and things. I found a script online that was in Java that I first kind of converted it into Lua. This is the script that's running in the background here. I've also gone one step further than just 2D at the moment. I sort of, uh, sort of converted it into 3D. It's a little bit hard to get my head around it because it's uh, using the sort of the springs and that. It's not actually using the Roblox's uh, constraints or anything. It's actually animating per brick, uh, per brick even, but per teeth in. So if I stop this, I'll show you my 3D version of it. So enable that. Right, this one. This might be a little bit laggy. There we go. I still haven't worked out all the bugs in it, it's like uh, it's meant to go beyond the border but I think it's good enough for now it's just a matter of just sorting out the table because I've just up the table that it's using so yeah that's going to be a bit late, let's actually turn that down a bit or put the uh, brick count down let's say 20, 20 this is really CPU intensive. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, if I have more than what I've got here, then uh, as you saw, it will lag. <laughs> it's because it's running the instance over and over and over per frame. Like it's going through the whole thing, whole table, working out what's between. So the way it's sort of working is let's just say we got this block here it's looking towards its neighbours and it's taking into account the y of the of its neighbours in this case I'm just using the y as the size of the of the uh, parts so it's in the old and the 2d version it was just looking at its two neighbours including there and over here so it wrap around in this 3D version, I still haven't quite worked out how to wrap it around yet. It's just something to do with a table numbering thing that I need to sort out. I'll show you the code behind it, because it's not exactly my code. It's a bit complicated and there's still a few values here and there that's still in there that's not doing anything. Because it was taken from that Java page. So it's... Uh, the, it, those values were basically just uh, display on the web page. That's it. So as I was saying, every uh, frame it goes through five iterations. In other words, goes through all that those blocks and um, working out what's uh, what's higher and what's lower and what the spring values are and everything else. Ooh. <laughs> so it's sort of setting up the points first. I've just converted it into X and Z in the original it's just got one array or one table if you like so I'll just add an extra dimension if you like and of course it's using table insert or no not Java it's Java script that's right it's using uh, table add or something I'll just convert it into table insert So each iteration, this background ways is another thing that I haven't quite worked out yet. I'll show you what that is. Uh, let's disable and enable the original. Let's say background max height 5. So it's basically just uh, to simulate a C if you like. There you go. So it's basically that. And then I've just wrote a little uh, 
little bit of script just to make it uh, look like something should have dropped into the water. That's what that is. So yeah, <laughs> I've been there sort of taking a break from my, uh, if you can call it a break because it's uh, hard maths. It's using uh, maths sin, maths cos. The only one it's not using is math tan. <laughs> math tangent. And I don't know that well trigonometry. And look at me. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I run them both at the same time. Probably lag fest. Let's have a look. Eh, not too bad. So yeah, if you guys want to uh, download this and take a look at how it's uh, sort of operating, I'll say good luck. <laughs> it's uh, rather complicated. Let's just say that. Yeah. So the code behind it, I'm still working out what does what. So <laughs> yeah. In the original, you can see what I've uh, changed as well, like the forces here, like it's looking towards its neighbours. This is what this function's doing, just looking towards its neighbours. So it's looking left and right. In this 3D version, it's looking at left, front, left, or should I say front, front, right, left, right of the block, back or behind left behind and um, right behind basically <laughs> so i uh, sat there for about must be about two hours trying to work out how to do it and i thought rather than keeping it as one dimensional array like the original why not split it up into two in other words uh, a multi-dimensional table if you like table array same thing so what I've done is I've basically just done a X and a Z where I'm just creating a table for the X a blank table and then filling up with a Z point and then adding the new point that we just created to that point that's how I kind of understand how it's working this offset is to do with the wave function if you like is that uh, standing wave that ignore that little bit it's uh, the actual sort of the up and down part of it the slow up and down to simulate a C if you like I think this code was actually part of a 2d game simulating true water I finally worked out how to get it into 3d <laughs> Look at that. Apart from the borders, it's almost there. I've been trying to do a water effect like that for the amount of time I've been coding. And let's just say I've been coding been coding since let's just say turn of the millennium. No, in fact before then. Uh when did I start coding? I think when I first got my first computer, I think that was back in 1990, 1998, 1999, somewhere around there. So I've been coding for a little, little while. <laughs> the old teenage me. Oh well. Yeah, so if you guys want to have a, have a look at this and download it, I think, yeah, why not? I'll put this online so you guys can actually have a look and play around with it. I'll keep the original there so you can uh, possibly do a better job than what I've done <laughs> at converting it into 3D. The problem I've got at the moment is to do with this uh, update waypoints. It's basically just uh, something simple as going from the left to right of the table or to say from one to the table length. Let's just say you've got a table of 10 values if you like it's it's something to do with uh, that basically it's not seeing the last point 
or the first point it, when it's trying to animate I still haven't worked out why it's not doing that I came close a few times but then this script sort of broke <laughs> so that's not good all right is that actually going into the base plate kinda I'll put this back as it was so then you guys can actually play around with the original where I mean just the size of it because I've altered the uh, size uh, what was it? it was 30 I think if you put those numbers up uh, high then uh, God help your computer <laughs> and the I'll show you what the iterations do it basically just shows how fast or how fast the wave goes through the, uh, the plants let's do 10 let's actually put that back down to 20 so we don't lag it's basically the speed of the wave let's put that down to 1 like so this is what I've been doing for the past uh, week or so just been playing around with the values trying to work out what's what there you go yeah so five is about uh, the best this Y offset is how f how high you want the uh, the actual wave or the plane if you like so if I put that to 20 it should move up 20 studs like so oh little error on my part but it's, it's, I guess it's a welcome error I've actually resized the parts to the white offset so it's 20 studs plus the wave <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can fix that. Yeah. P dot Y. So waypoints Y. Let's see if I can find out where that is. What I was doing there was trying to uh, make the the point that you drop, like the splash point, trying to make it bigger. But it ends up uh, sort of making it go make the wave go bigger and bigger and bigger until it goes out of control I'll show you like so that's basically just makes it making an X from the point all right it might go haywire no it's not too bad okay because I'm recording it's not going haywire <laughs> Oh well. Yeah, so I guess it's down to preference really. If you want those in there or not. I'll just come with them out because it looks better without it. Right, button. So yeah, anyway. This has been T in Robot Studio on a realistic water effect and look at that <laughs> yeah sometimes it does do that wow lot of noise <laughs> I forgot what I was saying oh yeah I was signing out my knife <laughs> you see it's frazzled my brain just looking at, just thinking about this anyway this has been Tikaza in Robot Studio as I just said and I'll catch you guys later Tikaza signing out